Hello, everyone. <laughs> Happy to sit with you. Get comfortable. <clears throat> and take a few moments to root down because we're really going to focus on upward energy today for you. You can begin by focusing on your exhales. Apanavayu is that down and out, eliminating energy, grounding. Right, immediately plugging in to the earth below us. You can feel that. Anytime you're feeling unsure or uncertain, right? Exhales, they'll always ground you. Especially if you make the noise at the back of your throat with your ujjayi breath, your victorious breath. making those exhales audible. Also very calming. The vagus nerve is stimulated, parasympathetic nervous system turned on. And you can feel yourself rooting, resting. As you root down, you can connect to the earth below you that has been hibernating all winter. There's been a restoration process happening. And here in spring, we really wanna tune into and utilize the upward energy. This is the wood element. Right now, the energy is up. Up, 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 they say, is spring energy. Chinese medicine, there is the upright qi, the righteous qi, zhang qi. And even the minute you think, the moment you think upright, the spine, it becomes more upright. Utilizing this upright chi, which is actually a chi of protection. When I think of upright chi, I think of sitting like a warrior. So present, so here. So awake so alive.
We're going to sit with our ujjayi breath, our victorious breath. As we sit here upright. And we're going to work with Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Uttara Bodhi Mudra. And here you interlace your fingers. Index fingers rise and connect. And then thumbs descend. So we can utilize this for that rooting grounding energy. And then out of the earth, we awaken. Up, up, up energy. It's gonna be by the heart or down by the gut, wherever you feel comfortable. We're gonna hold it for five minutes. Uttara Bodhi Mudra. Tune into your Ujjayi breath on the inhales and exhales. A constant flow of breath, if you can. Even flow with no pauses. So you feel on the inhale, transition into exhaling, emptying. back of the throat, slight constriction of the glottis. You can hear the breath. This is your victorious breath.
You can release the mudra. Relax your hands, thumbs, fingers, wrists. Take care. We'll continue to sit with our ujjayi breath. You utilize the ujjayi breath meditation in such a way that your breath is slightly louder than your thoughts. Just slightly louder. You want to give your mind the audible breath to focus on and let the thoughts fade into the background. Really utilizing ujjayi, this victorious breath. Ujjayi breath helps us really sit in the energy of unwavering. Here, awake, focus. Unwavering our attention is. Let your thoughts go into the background. And very clear is your breath. You can return to natural breathing. Turning upward the corners of your mouth. We're gonna work with the energy of Udana, upward energy. That is our day today. This is the energy of spring. Up, up, up. Udana governs the throat, the head, the brain, the crown. It's a very upward energy from the earth to the sky. I'm going to work with Udana Mudra, both hands. You take your hand up and you stick your index finger to your thumb. Your middle finger goes right on top if it can, so the three meet. And then your ring and pinky finger, they curl, but they float up. And both hands are gonna be like this. Yeah? This is one that can be done walking, it really can be done in any position. So this could be on your lap or your knees or your thighs. We're gonna utilize it upward since we're working with upward energy. So you have both hands like this. really actively pressing thumb into index, middle onto index. I'm gonna work with this breath pattern. We'll take three sips in from the earth all the way up to the crown. So you can feel yourself filling a third, a third, and then filling all the way up. 
You're gonna retain your breath as long as you can. When you exhale, it's so slow from the crown, like a pouring of honey, healing light, whatever you can feel all the way down the body, all the way back to the earth. Exhales are very slow. It's three sips in, so you feel a third of your body from the earth up, another third of your body, and then the whole body is full. You'll retain your breath as long as you can. Remember when it's time to exhale, make it as soundless as possible, soft. There's a soft, light, I love healing honey, just pouring down the body. And we'll do this for five minutes. A nice layering is at the very top of your inhale for you to look up inside your skull. Look up on that inhale retention. And when you exhale and release so slowly, the eyeballs can roll back to center. 
or possibly death. One or two more rounds. When you feel complete, come back to natural breath, release the mudra, take care of your hands, let them be soft, open to receive the benefits. And today, we're all going to lie down. We're going to practice looking up. So eyes will be open, one spot on the ceiling. And we're going to practice a mudra for unity as we look up. As if we could look through the ceiling, out into the sky, out into the ether and beyond. Practicing Trishula Mudra, where you take your pinky, curl it in, and take your thumb to the knuckle. So it's basically second knuckle. The other three fingers spread in front of you. Gather together and reach. So try to keep that pinky down. So you're lying. Get comfortable, lie down. This Mudra for unity. And you want to stay very awake, looking up at one spot, listening to your breath. As if you could see beyond that spot on the ceiling, out into the sky,
smile on your face, upward corners of the lips. I'm going to utilize this quote by Ferdinand Hodler. When you look up at the sky, you have a feeling of unity, which delights you and makes you giddy. When you look up at the sky, you have a feeling of unity, which delights you and makes you giddy. And then you can close your eyes. Feel free to hold on to the mudra for unity a little bit longer. And I would leave, I want to leave us with a, a nice sentiment as I was researching up. I found this from Michelle Obama. We should always have three friends in our lives. One who walks ahead, who we look up to and follow. One who walks beside us, who is with us every step of our journey. And then one who we reach back for and bring along after we've cleared the way. Thank you everyone for being here this morning, today. Utilize that upward energy. It wants to be illustrated within you. It's the energy of spring. Up, up, up. Enjoy this day. Namaste.